Good evening and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean. Great to have you coming. I love the show. We are live every Tuesday at 8 o'clock with the latest deals from Planet Cruise. Tonight we've got some exclusive offers. We've even got some cruises starting at just over £300. So some amazing deals. And Glenn is back. Not seen you for two weeks. Hello, how are you? I'm really good. Yeah. Really good, how's things? Uh, really good. Have you been away? I have. Of course you have. And I'll be honest, it's the first holiday I've had for a while that wasn't a cruise because I was staying with friends in America. Yeah, very nice. Not as nice as a cruise. No, I had a lovely time. No, it wasn't no, like a cruise. I, I tell yeah, you what, but once yeah. you're into your cruise, and that's it. It's very back, difficult to go back to a normal yeah. one, isn't it, really? So. Yeah. But anyway, you, you've been really busy, I'm hearing. Oh. Really busy. Yeah, literally, uh, July, August and September, you think, oh, you know, every year we sort of get ready for it, and it has just been absolutely manic in the office. Yeah. It's been busy. You were hoping for rest, weren't you? A little bit of a break, <laughs> yeah, so I was out there today, but I know I just spoke to the guys in the office, and again, we've got some deals that have actually gone live tonight that people have been booking as well, and that's busy. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a busy industry at the moment, and people wanting to get away. I'm fed up with this rain, and I know. just want to get away, and hopefully we've got some good deals from tonight. Well, we've, had, we've got something for everybody. We really yeah. have. We've got some really low prices. Some of the cruises. £44 a night, I think, is the cheapest we've got, isn't it? I look it's what it works. Yeah, one You're of those, right. Yeah, £44 a night. It's oh, my bad, word. Uh, I've got my I've got to say, I was looking here, uh, there's a lovely river cruise coming up, which is great, but I really fancy uh, the Princess Cruise at the end. Yeah, because that's got the Vietnam Grand Prix, yeah. which we'll talk about later on, but that's something we've never featured, that's the first Grand Prix they're going to have in Vietnam, and uh, we're doing a nice cruise, and then you go all the way through Malaysia and Vietnam, and then finish off in Vietnam for the actual Grand Prix itself. Uh, and I tell you what, the first cruise that's coming up, um, I've never been over to uh, Dubai you in the Middle East. You keep saying this, you've been to the airport, haven't you? Yeah, and I love the airport. Yeah, well, the airport's <laughs> great, yeah, you don't want to do ten days there, do you? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there's a lot, not ten days a, at the airport. There's a lot there to do at the well, airport. Well, there's a lot, yeah. But, but um, it's a really nice one, that one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, by the time we break it down and we run through it in a minute, but again, limited cabins available on this one, so uh, you need to get on quick yeah. on this one for you. Uh, anyway, I bet you've got some shout-outs, Claire. I've got one. Just one? Just one today. It's been okay. busy, but I haven't had time to take their names. <laughs> Come on, yeah. man. So, basically, we've got one tonight, and this is for uh, a Terry Jeffries. It's not one of my clients. Uh, Vicky spoke to me today, and we said Terry would give you a shout. You've done lots and lots of cruise with us. We always appreciate you uh, coming back to us, and I said we'd give you a big shout-out tonight. But as I said, we've been really good. been talking to loads of clients that have been with us many times before, and they're coming yeah. back. And, again, they're always looking for different deals and different things, and we've got some really good ones tonight. Right. Uh, just a few basic things. Different phone number, obviously. Different phone number tonight, so that's the one on the screen, so you can phone in there. The guys are going to be there till 10 o'clock tonight. Yeah. Uh, they're open again at 8 in the morning. I'm back at 9. People phone me up, one person said, you're not the guy off the telly. I go, yeah, they go, we thought it was all a lie, you're in the office. I went, no, that's my normal <laughs> no, job. That's his day Honestly, job. that is my day yeah. job, that's what I do. Um, I mean, if, I'm, Glenn would love to just do an hour week on Planet Cruise TV, but, you know. It's always very stressful, yeah. mate, so there you go. <laughs> but anyway, we better begin. We're going to start off with, with uh, say, a cruise that I think it looks amazing yeah. uh, from World Caribbean. Now, Selling really quickly. Yeah, we've yeah. already had the office on the phone tonight. They're saying cabins are very, very limited on here now. Now, we've got multiple dates. We've based it, I think, on the 9th of January. And again, we've got a few cabins left on there. But we've got other dates, which are a couple of quid out more. So if you can't do that date, don't worry. We've got multiple dates throughout the winter. But when you've got prices starting, you know, around about £900 for 11 nights. Yeah. You, know, you were saying like the, the airfare well, to the Dubai. Air, would be... If you think about an airfare to Dubai, it's four or five hundred pounds, okay? And we're offering for I think eight five nine. You're getting transfers, three nights in Dubai. You're getting a, a tour included on that. Plus, as well, you've got overnights on the ship and a seven day cruise on Royal yeah. Caribbean. It's not bad value to start off the night. Well, uh, I think we should begin. So definitely, let's take you on board and talk you through. So we fly obviously to Dubai, but I mean Dubai, amazing place. Yeah, exactly. And this one, this whole package in theory, you've got five nights in Dubai. So you've, you've never been there before, you've got plenty of time, but we're gonna start it off with a three day stay. Now you just briefly saw there the desert safaris that they have, which are the Jeep safaris. Now we've included this in there for you. Wow. So we've got the Jeep safari and including that is a barbecue dinner on there as well. So I would say if you've not done Dubai, you really want to do the, the desert safari because that's one of the highlights. So, so we're going to fly in. Now we've based it on London. Now just to let you know, we, we get a lot of people talk to us about flights. Now we always base stuff on London, but again, we can always look at regional flights. Now in this part of the world, we can look at Newcastle, Glasgow, Manchester, Birmingham, because we'll be flying right. in with Emirates. Uh, on our other packages we feature tonight, we'll always try and get you from the nearest gateway for you. If the flights are available, if they're indirect, we'll let you know. If there's a supplement, we'll let you know. But if you want to go from Belfast or you want to go up from Edinburgh, we'll always try our best for you. So we'll well, I remember team. the last cruise I booked with you uh, with some friends. My friends ended up flying from Doncaster, good old Donny. Yeah, Donny. And uh, we, we flew from the Midlands, didn't we? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah. So we'll always try our best for you. But this one, definitely tonight, we can look at options. 
right. for you. We've based it on London, but we can look at other options there. Well, let's uh, let's have a, a little look at the, the wonderful places we're going to be visiting. We're flying you from the UK uh, over to Dubai. Uh, we've got three nights in that fantastic hotel. As we mentioned, you've got the uh, desert safari, the barbecue dinner. Uh, and then the most amazing cruise. Yeah, so then you're going to jo uh, join the fabulous Jewel of the Seas. Now, the good thing about this one, the ship won't move the first night. So if you haven't done everything you want to do in Dubai, you've actually got an overnight on board. So you'll go on board the ship, you'll start looking at the facilities, and then if you want to go back into Dubai in the evening, you're more than welcome to do so. Then on day number two, we're then going to sail in the afternoon, and we're going to then make our way over to another very, very popular destination. Dubai was the first one to go, uh, these futuristic cities, and Abu Dhabi has followed it. Now, again, if you're into your Grand Prix, we talked about it earlier today that you've got the beautiful Corniche there you've got the old parts of Abu Dhabi plus the modern uh, buildings that are being built there as well again you've got the Grand Mosque but another thing you can do is a trip over to Ferrari world you can go over to Yaz Island Yaz Island's got the water park there the largest water park in the world so there's plenty of stuff to do whether you want a bit of culture as you can see there or you want to go with the modern uh, facilities they have there in Abu Dhabi but they're the two big places to go in this part of the world now from there we go down to Siribanas, Siribanas Island. Now this is the island just off the coastline there and this is a, an island area there with uh, famous for its wildlife. So you've got the marine life and the wildlife there and again keep your eyes out for the bird life. Um, you can go and chill out on the beaches there, they've got great beaches, you've got cabanas to relax on, you can swim, you can have a look at the animals. Oh that's god, that's quite amazing. Yeah, though, exactly. Yeah. So it's very, very different and I think as I said they've got their uh, wilderness area over there which is quite interesting to go and see and you make your way over there and you can spend the day there and I would have thought as many of you haven't been there before. For there we have a day at sea. Nice to relax and chill out. You've had three days in Dubai. You've then started the tour. So a chill out day just to take in the facilities, try some of the speciality restaurants or just relax and top up the tan. And from there we then go back into Muscat. Now Muscat is a little bit more traditional um, uh, of this part of the world compared to Abu Dhabi and Dubai. But again on here a, definitely a trip to the Sultan Grand Mosque is something to go and experience if you've never done that before. And when you're in this part of the world I'd probably definitely go and try and do one of the tours, maybe do a tour in the morning and then go and have a look around in the afternoon. But a great opportunity to go and see this part of the world. And then from there, we head back into Dubai. And also with this one, we have another another overnight on board. So in theory, you've got five nights in Dubai included in the 10 night And there's a lot to do. That, it is, but yeah. if you just break it down and think what a five night, uh, sorry, flights over to Dubai would cost, five nights in Dubai with transfers and an excursion. And then with that, you've also got the cruise included on there. Yeah. That is amazing value. And the other thing we're doing tonight is we've got the upgrade on there from the interior to the ocean view Brilliant. so you're um, not just getting a win, uh, an inside you can also have an ocean view we, we will let you know as, as Glenn mentioned earlier you know the office were calling just before the show this one was selling really really quickly yeah. and when things start to sell quickly prices go up so yeah because people want a lot of winter sun so the three main destinations are the Canaries people can head over to the Caribbean but that's sometimes a little bit too far so obviously uh, Dubai in this Middle East area is really really popular and, and you would get that time of year some lovely kind of like mid to late 20s wouldn't you good probably? weather and I said you're going to Royal Caribbean so so it's not just the actual destinations, it's the ship as well. Royal Caribbean, one of our most popular cruise yeah. ships out there. And again, a smaller ship compared to some of the big boys, but it's nice and intimate to get yourself around there and a good place to go and see. I, and Royal Caribbean, uh, they were the first cruise that I ever did. And uh, they got me hooked into cruising. Yeah, because that's such a good time. I know, 30 cruises later. <laughs> uh, so we'll just give you a, a, a quick recap on this one. So it's the. Uh, 11 night Dubai, Amman and Abu Dhabi would stay there. Brand new reductions, that's what's been selling very quickly. Uh, a three night hotel stay in Dubai, you also get the uh, Desert Safari and barbecue dinner. Return flights are based on London, but as Glenn said, we'll always look for, for regional airports. And uh, ports, of course, may vary slightly depending on dates. As I said, we base it on the 9th of January, but if you phone the guys, the prices are slightly different depending on what dates you go on. But I know we've got it the week before, the week after, all the way through the winter period, and they'll give you an update on pricing. Brilliant. So dates all the way through to March, haven't we? Yes, that's correct. Uh, anyway. We like that one, don't we? We do like that one. But if you're a regular, one of my favourite two words... All inclusive. You've got it. That's it. <laughs> all inclusive. And it's time for this week's All Inclusive. We don't love an all inclusive. We do, do we? love an all inclusive. Well, I love it whenever it? there's an all inclusive package. We, we don't even have to look at the screen. We go, yeah, that's yeah, included on that. That's the price. <laughs> well, especially when it's a, a 15 night all inclusive. Because I'm not being funny. And please obviously drink responsibly. But over 15 nights. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you added up what you spend on drinks, and that and would that's include soft drinks, as soft well drinks and bottles of water, yeah. things like that, 
you could spend a fortune. Yeah. And that's normally, he definitely could. That and the excursions are always going to be your biggest yeah. thing. So if you're taking, and this one's taking both of them out because he's got excursions and drinks and tips included on this so one. So everything included. You even get an um, on-board spend of 50 euros as well, don't, don't you? Don't blow that all in one go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is with Celestial Cruises. Now, they've been a really popular over the past uh, year or so on Ideal World, but we've never had an itinerary like this before. No, we? so we had Celestial on the, on the show about three or four weeks ago. We actually had the CEO, CEO come over from Miami and he was talking about it. And we had a really, really good chat while we were in the green room um, and with Celestial they tend to do five or seven night sort of uh, almost like island hopping but yeah. a bit more glamorous than that obviously um, but their cruises are really really popular now and I think if you want to see this part of the world but we've never featured something where it's got sort of a 15 night package a 14 night cruise now again the, the ships are based over in Greece they have tend to have Greek officers on board and the the uh, food and the drinks are geared towards that part of the world which is great because you know some people like to go to that part of the world and really experience the local culture so again the cocktails have got the Uzo base the the food on there they have Greek nights on board which are great but of course they cater for all tastes on there now with this one as well we've got nearly everything included so you've got your tips included which again can be eight to nine pound a day per person you've got your drinks included for the 14 night cruise and you've got six excursions now six six wow. on this one because it's a double length um, itinerary now we've got the normal three that we have we've got Santorini we've got um, uh, Crete and we've also got Ephesus and we've got another three and if you phone the guys tonight they'll advise now the places we're going to on this um, itinerary as well is very very different we've got a three continents cruise and if you haven't done the Eastern Med or you've not gone down into places like uh, Israel or down into places like Egypt this gives you a chance to experience it and I think sometimes people are a little bit um, they haven't experienced Egypt before maybe a little bit nervous on there what's lovely about going down to this part of the world is you go off for the day you see the sights and then you come back to a great ship and every night's a party on board but you are going to some really really nice destinations on here and again it really is port intensive I think out of 14 days we've got one sea day we have, yeah. which so, is great so you are going to get to see an awful lot of the world and some amazing places actually really, really good and it's just nice that the, the price you're paying on the screen there as, as Glenn just said, includes everything, you know, six excursions, yeah. tips, drinks, onboard spend. It know. does. It's got it all included on there for you. So really nice. Hotel. So let's have a look at it. So basically, we're, we're going to fly you into Athens. Again, these will normally be based on London flights. If you want the direct flights in there, be London. Again, we can look at alternatives. You have got the one night pre-stay, so we can get away with it. But I think if you want convenience, London is going to be your best option. It's normally Gatwick or Heathrow. But again, from here, once you're one night stay, we can extend the stay in Athens if you want. You might want two or three days there, but we've done it with one night and then you aboard the ship. Now from there, we're going to make our way down to Istanbul. Now Istanbul is where Asia meets Europe and again, it is a brilliant city to go and see. Actually, when you, yeah, when you sail in, it is incredible. It is fantastic. It? And again, the trip here to the Blue Mosque, which you can see there, is the trip to do. And I would recommend or taking one of the boat trips along the, um, the water's edge there, which are great. But the Blue Mosque is one to definitely go and see. And what's nice about this one, you've got an overnight in Istanbul as well so you can stay off for the evening go for dinner go for a walk whatever you want to do but you've got an overnight there in Istanbul there's loads of loads of ports of call on this particular itinerary we then go down into Kanakli. Now, Kanakli is in Turkey. And again, if you've not been there before, you think, well, where's that? That is the gateway to go to Troy. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I've not been here, yeah. And also, see, as you can see there, the Trojan horse. And you've also got the chance there for, uh, to go to Gallipoli, which, of course, was famous World War uh, in the World War with the Australians. And again, if you're into your, your wartime history, you've got a chance to go to, to Gallipoli as well. Then we go on to Volos. Uh, Volos is, uh, again, another destination that many of you have probably not been before into Greece. And again, famous for its archaeological museums. You've got your cultural centres there. Also, this is the start of the city of Argonauts, Jason and the Golden Fleece. This is where Volos started from on there. So again, if you like your Greek mythology, you can go and have a look there. We then go to some ports of call that may be a little bit more common to other people, which is Crete into Heraklion. Now, this is where one of your tours will be included. This is a trip off to Knossos. But again, we dock in the harbour area that you can go there, but I really would uh, recommend a trip over to Knossos Palace. We then go down into I think the best sailing anywhere in the world and this is Santorini. Santorini is going to be a star on this particular itinerary and again you've got the blue dome buildings there of Oya, you can go over to Fira, um, you've got the cable cars taking you up and down there but Santorini is stunning and again the ships will be docking off there in the caldera and if you're going abro um, ashore you'll get some great pictures of your ship. Just thinking that looks so nice compared to what I saw today driving to work. Yes exactly. <laughs> then we go into Mykonos which is becoming a real buzz place now with the Ritz and a lot of famous people are holidaying in Mykonos and again you've got the famous windmill Shirley Valentine, um, the actual town area there is great 
sitting in the half moon uh, area where you walk from the ship into town. That's it there. Um, but the great thing about this as well is you're going to be overnight aboard in Mykonos. We then have a slight change and we have a day at sea and then we go down into Alexandria and into Port Said. Now Port Said is your gateway there to go off and have a look at the pyramids and again from there you can dropped off in Alexandria and then you'll move round uh, onto Cairo and then you'll pick the um, ship back up in Port Said but again this is another highlight if you've never been there before you get a chance to see this thing. Have you done it? Have you done Egypt? I, I have, but I didn't get the chance to go to the pyramid. So again, you've got the chance yeah. to do that there. And Which I, would, I mean, I still want yeah, to do Yeah, and you know. again, it, you know, it's becoming commercialised there, which it always will be in a lot of these places, but you need to do a trip out there. Yeah. And what's nice about it, you know, it's a long old day, it's hot, it's sweaty, but then you come back to a ship and a glass of ouzo. Nice way to spend the day. Then we go into another fascinating place, which is Ashdod, and here in Israel, and you can take various trips from here. Now, again, you can go into the city and have a look around, but they do trips over to the Dead Sea. You can go across to Jerusalem, to Bethlehem. You've got great excursions to do there as well, and that is somewhere that, again, is a place on a lot of people's bucket list to go and see. We then head down into Limassol, Limassol in Cyprus. Now, for, again, I used to live in uh, Cyprus, and you've got the opportunity to go left or right here. You can go off to Paphos. You can go over to the other side to Ayanapa up into the Trudos Mountains. At that time of year, you might have a bit of snow on the mountains as well. But again, Cyprus is a very popular destination with the Brits. And then from there, down into Rhodes Town. Now, we dock in Rhodes. Where we dock there, you walk round, and you can go past the walled city, into the old town, which I love. Sit on some of the bars that look down onto the square. They've got the beers there. It's a great place to be. But Rhodes is one of my favourite destinations. We were there two years ago. And then finally, down into Kusadasi. Kusadasi, Ephesus. If you've not been to Ephesus, they tend to go there in the morning, and that's the archaeological site. Good footwear requested there because, again, it's quite uneven. And then back in the afternoon, you can have a wander around in Kusadasi and do some haggling and bartering in the local markets. And then from there, back into um, Athens or there. Joe, what? looking at the map there, I mean, look that, that is incredible, isn't Look it? at the itinerary on it, it's fantastic. Know. And, you know, I know it's going on the 24th of November, but if you, you know, people say we want a, a bit of winter sun, we want to do something different, that ticks off all that area. It's brilliant. And, again, your drinks your tips um, and your excursions are included on that as well. Yeah, really love that. Very different actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. very, very really different. Really good. Uh, and again, a, a lovely ship with Celestial uh, on board the Celestial Crystal here, but you will not have to worry about any extra costs such as excursions, drinks, tips, everything there. They, they do also included. have another excursion program, so if you want to upgrade and, and do different yeah, tours, you course. can do so, but you've got the six included. you do included get six, on, don't you? You've got six included on there. I think it's really good. Really, yeah, really, I, nice really good. Anyway, let's just uh, quickly recap what's included. Well, it's everything, isn't it? So, <laughs> uh, you've got uh, oh, your hotel stay in Athens for night, your all inclusive drinks, tips, six excursions, disaster the air, contact sense about those. You'll get 50 euros spent per cabin as well, and also your return flights based on London. But as Glenn said, we will always look for regional flights if they are yeah, available. Yeah, I think, I think at this stage now with those ones, it's probably going to be London. But as I said, yeah. we'll always look for you. Uh, anyway, we have got a few of the excursions to show you. There are three here, but you actually get six in total. But yep. you'll definitely get Istanbul, you'll definitely get Crete and Santorini as well. And that Bosporus cruise, I've done that. That is a wonderful. And you actually go from Europe into Asia. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then drinks, we've got to talk about drinks, Glenn, haven't we? Uzo, Uzo. Yes. But you've got selected spirits, beers, cocktails, including, as uh, Glenn just said there, the Greek flavoured Uzo cocktails. All of your non alcoholic cocktails. I've never tried those, what are they like? No, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, I have actually, very nice. Uh, so does ice, ice teas, juices, uh, sparkling mineral water, and a wide range of hot beverages as well. I, I do love my cappuccinos. Just be and... careful with the Uzos because you will start breaking plates. On that <laughs> one, <definitely. laughs> but, um, <laughs> right, what's good up next? Oh, I know. We've got a really good one this week. It is time for our Solar Passengers Special. Now, we, all, we actually get a, a, a lot of inquiries, generally speaking, about uh, solar prices, and this one is amazing, actually, Yeah, isn't it? very, very good on this one. This is really? my, old, uh, my old home. Yeah you, were, yeah, you worked on this ship, didn't you? I lived on it for five years. Five so this, years? It used to be Arcadia, and then it became Ocean Village One. 
and I which did, is really popular. Yeah, yeah. and People I did five, talk five years on there, and then it sailed down to Australia, become the Pacific Pearl, and then we heard a couple of years ago that it was coming back and becoming the Columbus. And I tell you what, people love it now. I mean, Cruise and Maritime's always popular. I worked for Cruise and Maritime again for three years. Loved the product. Um, really, really good. I've got a lot of friends still work there. But Columbus took the took it to the next level. And the, what's nice about Columbus because it is a slightly older ship. Their cabins are big. They're really big cabins mm. in comparison to some of the the newer cruise lines that have been yeah. developed. I've noticed that you definitely get that on the yeah, side. I mean, with Ocean Village, we used to put, for example, about 2,200 on there, um, but they only fill this with about 1,600 because they have a lot of solo travellers on there. But again, this is the chef tables that it had. This is the, the restaurant that we used to go into. Nice top deck on there as well. Um, but again, do you know what? If you haven't done Cruise and Maritime before, try I know a couple of those people. Um, but again, if you haven't tried it before, you really want to go and see this. And Columbus is doing so, so well at the moment, yeah. so popular. And guests really enjoy it. And again, it's a, it's a no-fly. Take as much luggage as you want. You're going for Christmas markets. It's going to be cold, so take the whole wardrobe. But it's going to, the atmosphere is going to be amazing. Yeah, isn't exactly. It? Exactly. And it's a nice one. Uh, and um, we are cruising out of Tilbury as well, so nice exactly. and easy. But that price, you know, the, for five nights, starts at 313 So, you know, just over £60. I think with that pounds. one as well, I'm sure on five nights and above, I may be corrected, but I'm sure five nights and above, you can also add on the drinks package. Now, they do a, a, a drinks package with that one, all your, all your, obviously your drinks included on there, um, and that includes your tips with that as well, and I think that's £23 a night. Right, so, so for 115 quid extra, you can add that and become all-inclusive. But nice going down to Christmas markets. If you want something to do before Christmas, that's a good one. And, and the single price is on the screen as well. It's 529 which is brilliant for Now, again, nights. they have a few single cabins on there. Very, very limited. If you want to get that booked, you need to get it booked tonight. But uh, we're making our way over to Amsterdam. Can you believe I've never been to Amsterdam? You always say this, you know. You need to just go. I know. And get right. out your system. I, I, I should be booking this one, shouldn't I? Well, this is nice because you're going to go to Amsterdam. And again, as I said, you've got the Christmas markets there. Lots of stuff to do in Amsterdam anyway. I would recommend if you want to do something like the Anne Frank Museum, you get that booked because that will be busy and reserve that. But again, you've got a chance to see the windmills. You've got the bikes all through Amsterdam as well. Always quite chilly in Amsterdam, especially that time of year. So wrap up nice and warm um, but again uh, you can have a wander around in Amsterdam and just be careful because all the windows will be frosted up if you know what I mean. From there you move on to Hamburg. Now Hamburg again is a nice destination to go to. Very popular with the ships that do Northern Europe cruises and again from here you can go into the Reaper Barn which is quite uh, impressive to go and see with all the bars and restaurants. You can then wander around, you go to the chocolate factory, you wander around the harbour area but it's a nice destination but again of course remember you've got those Christmas markets there as well. Then a day at sea just to relax and take it easy again. With, I always find with cruise and maritime cruises everyone gets to know each other because they don't fill it with 6,000 people. You get to know people on board. The show's um, Helen, my wife, used to be the, um, the cruise director on board as well. So again, you have first and second dining. So if you go six o'clock, you then watch the eight o'clock show. Eight o'clock dining, you go and watch the ten o'clock show, and they'll have evening entertainment. And is it mostly good. British customers in general? Yeah, mostly yeah. British uh, customers on board. And again, people enjoy that. And again, you'll have very, very mixed ages because people are doing like a pre cruise party, other people a little bit more relaxed on there. But again, I think if you want to do the markets, this is 60, 60 quid a day. Yeah, that's just what over. it costs. Yeah. And that's Amazing. your food, entertainment, it's great value. And then from there, back into Tilbury, and then obviously home from there. But again, Limited places on this one, especially on that single price. And it's a, is this an exclusive for Planet Cruise Exclusive as well? on that one, yeah. Again, with this one, you've got to book it by the 3rd of October because the prices are going to change. So, so a couple of days? Uh, it's the first today, two days, yeah. yeah. Two days, yeah. Two days sign, so, yeah. Um, and the yeah, price you, you do need to get moving through. So it is a, it's a festive flash sale promotion. Uh, we've extended it exclusively for Planet Cruise, but yeah, it was just said... You need to book by the 3rd of October. You've literally got a couple of days to get this one. The single is brilliant, and obviously there won't be many of those available, but if you are quick, you can get out for just £529, and it works out under £63 per person per night. No fly crews from Tilbury, so that means you can bring as much luggage What's quite good with the singles like. on there, just because when we used to work on board as well, as I said, they do allocate quite a lot of cabins there for single travellers. So they also match up people, you know, they're dying, you can dine together. Oh, great. And because it is a smaller ship, again, I always feel sometimes on the single travellers, I hope I'm not being saying anything wrong, on the bigger ships they always get a little bit lost. Whereas on these, because you dine together, it's a little bit more set with the first and second dining, you get to meet other people. It'd be a nice experience. Very good. Lovely. Um, Oh, sorry, so much on the show tonight. Um, do like that last one, though. I thought it was really good. But it is time for this week's Hot Pick. Right, this is Sizzling Hot.
Sizzling This hot. really is. Might be not sizzling hot when you get there for 24th of November. <laughs> might be a little bit... Uh, but honestly, um, we, we previewed this earlier, actually, um, on, on one of our early shows. Um, I'm sure it'll be selling really quickly. Fred Olsen and nine night crews on the Bremer. Nine nights, Belgium, Spain and France from Southampton. Three, eight, When nine. I saw this today, I thought, oh, that's not a bad deal for four nights. I didn't realise it was nine nights. Nine. I, didn't, I forgot I to see the nine night bit on there for you. But again, if you want to, you know, want some time away before, you know, Christmas kicks into gear, that's great. Now, again, with this one, this is not on sale until tomorrow. So the guys, what they'll do tonight, you phone in, you do what's called a pre-reg, you pay your money, and in the morning they book the cabin for you because they'll go very, very quickly. Now, if you look at the price, it works out under £44 per person per night. Now, what would you get in the UK, you know, that includes all your meals? All your meals, yeah. Entertainment yep. and accommodation for four to four pounds. Yeah, exactly. And then you can add a drinks package on if you want to. And they're really good on Fred really, as well. really good yeah. value on there. And the ships are great. Again, more traditional ships on there. Good entertainment. As I said, yeah. per couple eight eight quid. And I've I've cruised with Fred also with my mum. We had a lovely time. The standard was incredible. And that is is an absolute steal at three eight nine. But yeah. I, so you need to basically you need to pre-register today. Yeah. So to you'll phone the guys tonight. They'll, they'll they'll take all your details. They'll they'll take the the, the money on there because it's going to be full payment. And then literally tomorrow morning. First thing they'll get put so, so what I would do, I would jot down that ID number for that one, 172797. It's the 24th of November. It's nine nights on board the Bremer. She's a lovely ship, been on this myself. 389. That is a real, really <laughs> red hot pick, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Don't wait for the price to drop anymore because it won't. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> They'll be paying for no. you to go. So you're going to go one way, we reckon that one. God, I feel really hot after that, don't you? <laughs> That's a sizzler. Yeah, well, it is a sizzler. <laughs> we need a fan. But anyway, um, we're going to move on to uh, our River Cruise of the week next. Yeah. Um, with Uniworld. I still haven't done a River Cruise. But I, I, did a, I did a Uniworld you've been, cruise. You've yeah. been on this, sir. Yeah, so Uniworld would be classed as six star luxury. So it's just there. you to do six star. Yeah, you know. of course. Yeah, I, well, I only stayed on day. They took me off after that. <laughs> Maybe that's who it was. But what I would say with Uniworld is, is there's six star cruising. Uh, this is one of the top river cruise lines you're going to go with. So again, there are multiple cruise lines out there. Um, but again, with these ones, very, very opulent. Um, their decor on is stunning on these particular ships. And, and six star. Said, we do class it six star wow. on here. Um, and again, you'll see, the, you'll see the way they decorate on there. Each room is decorated different on there. And I think people can't believe that is a river cruise, but it is a river cruise. You can see the opulency with the chandeliers and the way that the, uh, the wallpaper's down. It's, it looks like a palace. It looks, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I say, we were, we were taken back when we went on board oh my um, word. but they are wonderful wonderful ships on there and again of course with the river cruises you only have 150 200 people so they're not big yeah. staff get to know you very very well and i think if you want a bit of luxury in this part of the world it's a great itinerary and again we've got various uh, various uh, itineraries uh, on here and, for um, is everything included on this one? Yes, everything's yeah. included on here. So you've got your drinks included, obviously your food, you've got all your meals included, you've got captain's welcome and a, a farewell cocktail party at the and end. And you get your excursions as well, don't excursions you? Excursions are included. Again, they're smaller excursions. They all have the uh, earpieces so you can hear the guides all the time. So you've got excursions. You don't have to take them if you don't want to. And the other thing they do with that as well, they do different types of excursions depending on your ability. So they do ones that are called uh, Let's Go, a little bit more active on there. They do Do As The Locals Do, a bit more traditional, and then the Village Day. Don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I love his honesty, don't yeah, you? Yeah, not sure on that one. But again, they do various tours on there for you. Everyone. Yeah, they've got bikes on board as well, so you can't use them on board, but you can take them off for the oh, day. Oh, I've done that on a yeah. cruise. I like that, and yeah. you can actually go along there. It, but what's great about the River Cruise is, of course, they dock right in the centre of the town. So from there, you know, you haven't got shuttle buses. Because you can just wander out. Tender yeah, boats and, and things off. like that. But this, I think, is opulency. This is six star. And this one's going to take you to four different countries. You've got four UNESCO World Heritage Sites to go and see. Sure. And probably most of the destinations you're going to on here you've never been I, to I, before. I mean, uh, if you are going to, you know, book a River Cruise and you want the best, then this is it tonight. So we, we fly from the UK to Amsterdam. Yeah, so that's where you're going to board the ship and then from Amsterdam we make our way down and from there we're then going to go down into Cologne. Now again, when you go down into Cologne, you've got the Gothic style uh, architecture here, you've got the old town. Um, again, Cologne is one of the largest and oldest cities in the Rhineland, so it's great to go and explore there. And again, it's home to more than 30 museums and hundreds of art galleries. So again, you've got a chance to go and do the tour in the morning and then obviously you can go and explore. But again, it's a nice destination if you haven't been there before. I've got each chance to explore experience that. From there we head down from there and we go down into uh, Koblensk 
and also into Ropard as well. So in Koblenz, again, this has got more castles than anywhere along in this destination. Again, if you like your Game of Thrones and you like your castles and stuff like that, you've got a chance to see them. And of course, as you're sailing along, you'll get to see them and of course, experience them on some of the tours. Again, you've got the historic town. You can take a scenic bike ride there as well. But again, your guides will give you as much information as they possibly can on that particular one. We then go down into uh, Bopard on there in Germany. And again, from here, you've got a chance to go along the Rhine River. And again, you've got complete moving scenery the whole time. So you're literally gonna be up on, on the top deck, having a glass of wine and taking in the sights there. And of course, from here, we go into the wine area. So if you like your wines, you like the German wines, down into Rudersheim, you get a chance to then go into places like some of the wineries they have there and you'll see the wineries as you sail along oh, as you can see there. Look so look 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 castles wine and yeah. a cruise sure, yeah, you're in your element perfect, you're in your element aren't you? <laughs> um, from there we go down into uh, Germersheim which again is going to be said wrong I do apologise and here you can go off to places like Speyer which is really interesting again more of the vineyards to go and experience there um, you've also got other excursions that you can do you can do walking tours of Speyer um, with the guides as well so the tours can be as active or as, as relaxed as you possibly want on there, depending on what you want to do. And again, all the time you're going to be with the guys with those earpieces, giving you as much information as you possibly can. Then we go down into Kell, and here you've got the opportunity to then go down into Strasbourg, which is a beautiful city. You've got the historic town there with cobbled lanes and half-timbered houses um, as you make your way down there. And also they call it the, the crossroads from Europe between Paris and Prague. So again, in Strasbourg you have the opportunity, and in Kell, as I said, where you're docking there, great opportunity to go there and walk around and take in some of the sights from there. And there from there, down into Brysatch. Now, Brysatch here, um, again, this is dominated by the 17th century hilltop cathedral. You've also got the Voskos uh, mountain range, which is going to be, uh, you're at the foothills there. And then from there, you can go into the villages. They've got various villages they have. And of course, more wineries as you go along, which is always a nice way to experience there and then finally we go down into uh, Basel and then from there that's where you're going to be docking and that's where you're going to be flying home so again as I think on that one many of you have probably not done those destinations before which is a nice opportunity to do that and you are going in wow. six star luxury I was that's say, what I mean just look so at. again not to everyone's taste it's a bit whoa here you go look at this look at that but what they are is you know Stunning. each room I mean, is designed yeah. by the owners so again, they're all designed very, very different. So and it looks as I palatial. Said, it's, just, yeah, it's palatial. Yeah. yeah, that's the word. I'm I know. Yes. yes. And what's nice as well, you've got the outside areas there. We can go and have outside lunch. The food on there is exceptional. Um, small gym to work it off with, but again, most of the time there, you're going to be up on top deck, taking those wonderful, wonderful views. And they're the cabins that they have. So six star and everything included there as well. That was amazing, actually. So let's just recap what's included on this one uh, on board the, uh, the the beautiful river. Empress there. So ultra luxury six star boutique style cruising. Uh, we've got exclusive pricing, not to mention the 14th of August. So the 14th of August we've got an exclusive price and that's the price we've got there. And then of course we do have other dates as well. Um, but that one there on the 14th, what a great time of year to well, go. I was just going to say, you'd expect that date to be the most expensive in the middle of August, but yeah. it's actually the most affordable, so that's because of the exclusive price. Exactly. So definitely try and get that date if you can. Um, complimentary uh, escorted daily excursions, you've got complimentary beverages, so throughout your cruise as well. The captain's welcome and farewell dinners, and return flights based on London, but as Glenn always says, we will look for regionals if they are available. Price-wise, so, uh, I am going to draw your attention again to that, that August date because it's the, the lowest priced, yep. and yet that is peak season. So that's is. amazing, isn't it? it? And is. the weather's going to be glorious. And again, if you can go up to, I always say with the River Cruise, if you go up to the French balconies on there, there's where you actually can go out onto the balconies, and that's where you're taking the views. As I said, if not, take the river view, and you'll spend most of the time up on the top deck. But again, nice mingling with the other people and taking the views, but whatever you do. It's a great one on there. As I said, you, you can't get much higher standard no. on a river cruise than the one we're featuring on UniWorld. Uh, and don't forget if you'd like to book any cruise with us tonight, I know we are uh, very busy I'm sure, but all you need to do is give us a call 0808 250 266. Just, just remember that is deposit only on those ones as well. Oh yes. Such great choices tonight, do you think? I'm always planning for next cruises, you know, always, always, always. <laughs> um, but we're going to move on to uh, Norwegian cruise lines, a cruise company I've cruised with uh, three times. Uh, and this uh, is on board the Norwegian Epic, which I haven't been on board. 
but I've seen them many times in Paul. I would say the Epic's one of the most popular ships yeah. in Europe. It's been out of Barcelona for the last few years, ever since I started selling cruising. Um, and a lot of our guys went on it a couple of years ago. They loved it. And, and what's so good about NCL is it's very relaxed. It's, yeah. it's very easy going. Um, again, freedom dining throughout the whole ship experience on there. No dress up nights. So, I mean, we still say people, you know, I would go on there, for example, and wear a nice pair of jeans and a shirt. Ladies can wear a bit of nice dress with a bit of with a bit of tinsel on there, but you don't have to wear the ball gowns. A bit of tinsel. A bit of tinsel, <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been saying. All there's, of people. There's, there's Glenn's tip, girls. Yeah, yeah, a bit of tinsel. There you go. A bit of tinsel on your But dress. again, what's so good about this, it caters for all ages, so it's good for the adults, it's good for the kids. You've got the water park on there as well. They're very big with NCL on their speciality dining restaurants. So obviously your food's included, but the speciality restaurants are wonderful. Now, we've talked about this before. They've introduced, I think it was in April it launched, which is what's called the Free at Sea. Now, this one to upgrade for a week's cruise is £99 per person. 99% of people do this. Now, with the Free at Sea, you get uh, two or four things. So, nearly everyone takes the beverage package because even if you have soft drinks, it's worth it. If you book it on board, it's $90 a day. You're getting it for £99 for the week. So, you're going to take the beverage package. And as I said, that's coffee, soft drinks, as well as any drink up to $15. Yeah. The other three things you can have, most people take the dining package. Now, the dining package on this will be three meals in the speciality restaurants. If you're eating in the steakhouse, which I think is Cagney's on board, that's $30 a night, so that's your money done anyway. So you've got three meals there. Um, the other two things you can have is shore excursion credit, $50 per cabin, or you can have the internet. Most people, as I said, take the beverage and the dining package, but you've got that option. Now, again, the entertainment on board is very, very modern, very lively. They're still well, I saw the, Priscilla Queen of the Desert. Yeah, though. they've got Priscilla yeah. on there. But again, the shows are great. They've also got the studio cabins as well for single travellers. And again, they're normally located, I think, up on deck 11 and 12. And they have their own single lounge. Again, you can actually go in there. That's for single travellers. If you want to dine with someone, you can put your name on and someone else will come and dine with you, which is quite That's nice. Great, yeah. yeah, really, really good. But again, Norwegian are always popular. And the Epic is, is one of the most yeah. popular ships. And this is doing a sort of a standard Western med, which a lot of people do as their first cruise and I, so I love you know I know just told us about it, but I do love the free at sea you know where to get all your drinks and you know your choice yeah. of restaurants or uh, internet or 100% yeah brilliant for 99 really, really pounds uh, but as you say Claire, it's a great maybe great first cruise this one uh, you're flying over to Barcelona now with this one as well again a lot of people have not been to Barcelona before so on certain dates I think they're based it on uh, July dates on there for you but again with all of these dates we have we can do an extra two three four nights yeah. there we based it I think in uh, going out in the 5th and the 19th of July um, 100, 119 pounds per person to have a two night extra stay in Barcelona and I think if you've not been there before it's great Scrada Familia the new camp go um, up the Ramblers um, nice to do that but we've just based this at the moment on the seven night stay Flying to Barcelona, then you've got a day at sea, and then I think you're going into one of the best destinations in Europe for excursions. Loads of stuff to do from the Bay of Naples. Naples itself, I'm not over keen on. It is the home of the pizza. Very, very busy there. I'd get out there and do a tour. So, Pompeii, Vesuvius, over to Capri yeah. or Ischia, uh, Herculaneum if you want somewhere a little that's bit right, different. That's right, that's what I did last did time. Yeah, yeah, loved it. What I would say with Naples, a lot of people go there once and then from there they go back and they stay on like Sorrento up into Amalfi Coast. There's about seven or eight excursions to do from Naples. You just have to decide what you're going to do in one day. We then go into Chivi, Civitavecchia for Rome. Again, we speak about Rome a lot, but again, we're about an hour and a half from Rome, from Civitavecchia. Again, I would take a tour in there, whether you do Rome on your own or one of the set tours. But again, from there, you can go and toss a coin in the Trevi Fountain. You can go to the Vatican, Sistine Chapel, Colosseum. Tip on that one, whatever you want to do, mainly go there first and then work back from there because there can be queues. So again, if you want to go Colosseum, go there first and then you know what rest of the time yeah, you've got to go and see the other stuff. Then we head into, uh, into Livorno. Livorno is the gateway to go into uh, Florence and Pisa. Again, you go into Siena, you go to Lucca, if you want to go different places, up to the wineries, which is wonderful. But most people go out of Livorno and go either to Pisa or Florence or do both. That's the Ponte Vecchia. Of course, you get a chance though to go and see the Leaning Tower as well, just depending on what you want to do. But both places are great. The, I would say with Pisa, once you've seen the tower, you've done your silly picture, half an hour there and then get onto Florence because there's so much more in Florence. Uh, or uh, Luca is quite nearby, yeah. and that's lovely as that's well. That's lovely as well, yeah. yeah, and they do a tour there as well if you wanted to try that. Then we go to uh, Cannes. Now, Cannes obviously becomes alive in May where the film festival is, and again, it's normally a tender port, so they take you across into Cannes and you can go and mingle with the rich and famous. Again, we have cruises going out in May time, so you're actually there uh, around about the Cannes Film Festival. And of course, the Monaco Grand Prix is on around that time as well, but that whole Côte d'Azur comes alive and you can actually walk past the, the main 
main cinema theatre where the, the festival takes place. Quite nice. And then Palmer next, isn't it? Yeah, and then into the Balearic Islands, into the largest of the Balearic Islands, which is Palmer. And again, we dock there. Uh, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, um, Carol and Ray, are there at the moment for a month. And all they do is every day keep putting pictures of, because we got married there, keep putting the pictures where we used to live. And it's really depressing me in because in, it's about 28 degrees out there at the moment, which is lovely. <laughs> um, it's just awful, isn't it? Yeah, so and they keep taking pictures. Oh, you'd love it here. I go, yeah, I know. That's why we <laughs> live there. But uh, again, from there, you can go to the cathedral, you go to Soyer, you can go over to Val de Mossa. Palmer's one of my favourite places in the world. And again, it's a nice way to end the cruise. And then from there, back into Barcelona for your end of your holiday. Well, let's, say, let's just have a little look at the uh, Norwegian epic again, because she, she is uh, a, a rather magnificent ship. There's loads to do on there for absolutely every, whatever age, you know. You know if you have got children, extended family, fabulous, but so much to do for adults as well. You've got the ice bar as well, which yeah. is always interesting. Yeah, 20 bars, was that right? Yeah, 20 bar, loads and loads of restaurants. I say they're really, really big on their speciality restaurants, but remember, you get all your food and drink, all your food in included anyway, but plus three speciality restaurants in there as well, which is quite nice. But it's just really nice good. to have choice though, Yeah, they've it? got comedians on board, they've got West End shows, they've got acrobats on, on there. Um, it cases for everyone, so if you're going, you know, with just your partner, great. If you've got the kids, they'll love it as well. Good kids clubs as well. And you can see that all the uh, all the state rooms look fantastic, actually, really, really high standards. So just to recap, what's included on this one? Um, so we've got um, the ability to upgrade to free at sea. I think nearly everyone does that. Everyone, they? yeah. Sure. I mean, yeah. really, for ninety nine pound, it's worth doing. Uh, and you get to choose from you get to choose two of these. So your premium beverage package, obviously, that's the, the main one to go for, in my opinion. Uh, and then I would go for specialty dining, so you get three three meals, three meals in the restaurants, yeah. Uh, or you could go for Wi-Fi or short excursion credit. The choice is yours. Return flights based on London, but as we mentioned, regional flights are available at Supplement. And if you'd like to extend your uh, trip, you can add on a two-night stay in Barcelona for only £119 uh, per person. £119 per person, uh, based on the 5th and the 19th But again, we, look, we can look at all dates on there, and we've got this going all through I'm the whole, got, the whole got, the, uh, summer. If you look at the oh, I wonder if there's a date that I can uh, fit in my diary. We've got a huge amount of dates, right away from May through to November. And even in peak season, the price is still really good on that really one. Really good. I mean, the one I'm sort of pointing out there for you is sort of June time. Yeah, if, was, if you haven't yeah. got the kids, it's just you two, that's a nice time of year to go. Kids are back at school, they haven't broken up yet. I would have a look at that time, but again, depending on what, what you can fit in. Well, we, uh, we have one final cruise for you tonight, and it is this week's Destination Hotspot. Now, our, our head of buying was looking at this one earlier. Was he? Yeah. Is he going to give me a call tomorrow? Yeah, I'll, I'll give him your number. Yeah, thank yes. you very much. Cheers. He's looking at this one. Nice to share um, business. I'm amazed he could take 18 nights off Ida World. I don't know. But we'll That's why to... he's one of the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, he really liked the itinerary on this one, but also you've got the Vietnam Grand Prix at the end, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, so it, this appeals to everyone. I mean, we, we've based it on here with the, the one night in Singapore. Again, I would personally say if you can get the time off, if you've got an 18 days, try and push it to 20 days and give yourself two or three days in Singapore. You, you mm. should have it, really, because there's so much to see there. But we've offered you one day in Singapore. There are lots to do. You can go to Raffles. You can go to um, Sentosa Island. You can go to Marina Bay Sands, which is the new hotel. But what I love about this one is, is Singapore is just to start and again it's a wonderful city cleanest city in the world to go and see there don't drop your tune gun whatever you do but, but honestly it is so immaculate even i always think like you know i'm a gardener and uh, all the plants are like they've been deadheaded every day you yeah know, like everything and the gardens beautiful. by the bay which is that one you've just seen there which, which is good uh, and that's it there so that's yeah. like of avatar go and see it during the day or night time uh, but that's really really special to go but raffles gonna have a singapore sling there or go over to marina bay sands which is the new hotel but again we've given you one day if you can probably for about another I know, 100 quid per person. Get an extra couple of nights in Singapore. Yeah. It's definitely worth doing. But yeah. from there, we're then going to join the Sapphire Princess. Now, what's great about Princess, we are the leading agent for Princess uh, within the country. And I think if you've, if you've done a Princess cruise before, we class them as, as five star. Um, a lot of their ships are very, very similar. And the video we're showing you now is, is their sort of Far East program. So we don't go to every place on this itinerary, but it'll give you an idea of that um, part of the world. I, I've got to say, my personal experience of Princess cruises, I, I think they're amazing fabulous. they are amazing they're, they're uh, again they're, they're very big on their speciality restaurants so people try those um, a lot of the ships are designed very very similar 
when you go on one, they're very similar to others, but this will take in so many different places. As I said, this is just, um, if this particular itinerary doesn't suit you, again, if you want to do this part of the world, I'd really look at uh, Princess, because yeah. they tend to go to very, very different places. That's Singapore, that's Marina Bay Sands on the left, Bali, one of my favourite destinations. But, you know, they, they go to different destinations, which a lot of the other ships don't go to. So this is why I'd always look at that. Cherry Blossom in Japan is, is one to go look for. Look at the awesome colours there, right? It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful place. But the ships are good. The ships are really, really good. You can add drinks packages on if you want to. If not paid for drinks, you should go along. Um, and again, the service on there is second to none. So um, what's nice about this one, we're doing Malaysia, we're doing Cambodia, we're doing Vietnam. Um, and then, of course, then we've got the, uh, the selling point at the end. That's that Gardens by the Bay in Singapore there, which is good. Um, but we've got the Vietnam Grand Prix at the end. Wow. Just so that just gives you a, a little taste of some of the great destinations that uh, Princess Cruises can offer you. But this one, uh, 80 nights as well, and you look at, at the price. For, it's a long trip, that. It is. Including your flights and your hotel stay. Amazing. And your Grand Prix tickets at the end of as course. well. Of yeah, course. Yeah, we, we'll talk about the Grand Prix in a minute. But again, with this one here, um, so this one's going to join. And then uh, what's nice about this one is you've got a, a sea day to start yeah. with. So just chill out, relax get, you know, acclimatise the time difference on there because you're going forward in time. And then we go into Malaysia to start with. And here you've got a chance to go to uh, Kota Kinabalu, which, again, a destination that many of you got to. Stunning. Wow. Borneo. Now, one of the highlights on here, if you like the little ginger fellas, you get a chance to see them. They're the orangutans. Don't keep looking at me. <laughs> Separate a bird. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Look. Uh, there we go. I'm off to sell me Ubers now. There you go. Um, but this one here, uh, you've got a chance to go to uh, Kodakin and Baloo. Um, you'll go to the orangutan sanctuary, which is, again, a, a, a thing to tick off the bucket list. You've got the sun bears there as well. Um, and I'm sure many of you have never been to that part of the world. No. Before, so it's good to Beautiful. go to see. We then have a day at sea, so do as much as you possibly can there because you can relax the next day, and then we head into Vietnam. So from there we go into Nha Trang in Vietnam. Now you've got the beaches in Vietnam. It's still so cheap in Vietnam. It's getting more expensive because it's getting more popular, but it is still really good value on there. But again, you've got a chance to go to the Long, Long Son Pagoda. You can go to the beach area there, the Vin Pearl Cable Car, if you wanted to try that. Um, and again, plenty of tours to do there, but you've got the old and the new in uh, the Because I, I, I love Vietnam and, and the people are wonderful as well. Yeah, because at the end of this package you're coming back into Vietnam anyway, but this is just giving you a taste as to start with. We then go into Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, a big destination for tours. And again, of course, their turbulent history over the last 50, 60 years. It's something to go and look. You've got the Notre Dame Cathedral. You can go to the War Remembrance Museum. You can go to Independence Square. Or you can also go off to the Kuchi Tunnels and learn a little bit more, of course, about the Vietnam War, which is, is interesting because, as I said, it's still fairly modern within our history but again a great city to spend the day there then we go down a day at sea then into Shinnikaville which is in Cambodia and here with Cambodia you're getting real more into traditional um, Cambodia you've got great beaches you've got Serendipity Bay which sounds wonderful you, you can go off to the waterfalls you can either take the ATVs out but I would definitely recommend doing a tour there to experience as much as you possibly can but again if you just want to chill out and relax go to the beaches and again eating and drinking out there very very cheap we then dock into Lam Shabang. Lam Shabang is the gateway to get into Bangkok. Now, to get into Bangkok is about a two hour drive. So, again, if you want to go into Bangkok, probably best here to go and do one of the tours. But again, you can take one of the boat rides along the river. I've been to Bangkok a couple of times. Again, you've got the temples to go and see. You can go and do your shopping in the main shopping centres. You've got the Grand Palace. And I would say if you do a city tour, it's quite good to do that and take in all the views because, as I say, you only go to Bangkok once, but it's a good destination to see. Then we go into Koh Samui. Now, Koh Samui, I was fortunate enough to go to about 10, 15 years ago. This is great for the beaches. Oh, so that's a complete contrast uh, to Bangkok, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. Now, parts of the film The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. were filmed in this part of the world, but again, more uh, jungle, uh, beaches, more, uh, more basic. You get a lot of the backpackers and people going out to Koh Samui because they love the beaching and the swimming and snorkeling. Um, but as I said, very contrasting to maybe some of the other places you've just been to. Then you've got a day at sea, and then we're going to go back into Singapore. Now, from Singapore, we are then going to fly you all the way up to Hanoi at the top of Vietnam. And that's where you're going to do your four-night stay. Now, again, included on this one here, 
we've given you uh, four day tickets into the Grand Prix and transfers into the Grand Prix. Now, I'm only talking personally for myself. I, I'm not a massive Grand Prix fan or Formula One fan, but I would, I'm desperate to go and see a Grand Prix. So what a lot of people do here is they might go to one practice day and then the actual day of the race, and then the other time they go and do the own thing, but you have got the tickets included on there for you. And again, the actual Grand Prix is the first time they've had the Grand Prix in Vietnam, so it's a big deal for them. Um, but again, in the old town, you've got the old quarter, you've got the Somme Pagoda, again, um, uh, um, statue to go and see. But the Grand Prix itself will be on the Sunday. Now, it's 306 kilometers in total. Each lap is uh, 5.56 kilometres and it's 55 laps in total. So you can see the big boys Vettel and Hamilton. What, what um, a finish to the holiday. What a finish, yeah. You know? And if you think you've done Singapore at the start, and again, I'd say if you can extend it, then you've got that wonderful itinerary there. And then from there up into Vietnam to do the Grand Prix. That ticks off orangutans, that ticks off Singapore, that ticks off Vietnam and a Grand Prix abroad as well. Um, and then obviously your, your flight back to the UK. Let's just take, take you on board though, the, the beautiful Sapphire Princess. Uh, one final time. Um, so she, she's a beautiful ship. I mean, you can get an idea of the, the standards. And um, you know, what I love about cruising, I just love the fact that you have got so much choice throughout the day. You know, if you want to relax in a bar, have a few drinks, you can. Or be by the pool, or you know the entertainment. There's all sorts of nice. Imagine, imagine going off in Malaysia and seeing the orangutans, then going to bed the next day, waking up in another place. I know, I know. You know, and you're doing Malaysia, um, Cambodia, Vietnam, Singapore. Um, you know, cruising is it's just wonderful. It really is. Um, and I always say, but the standards on a cruise ship. Uh, are always so much higher, generally speaking, are, than hotels. And, yeah, you know, they, they really are. And Princess Five Star. Yeah. So, you're not gonna go so you will have a wonderful time. All right, so for your £2,249 per person, you're going to wait 80 nights. You've got uh, a one night stay in Singapore and a, uh, a four night stay in uh, Hanoi as well. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah. That is yeah, I'm just breaking this down. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. really good. I'm starting this up in my head. Uh, you've got uh, breakfast, including it, and an oil welcome dinner on arrival. That four day Formula One general admission ticket included as well, and your return daily track transfers and your return flights from London. Uh, limited staterooms available, so you do need to book I now. I mean, because we've tagged this in now with the Grand Prix, obviously, uh, you know, that's why the cabins are limited on here because it's one of the only crews that ties in with that Grand Prix. But it's a great opportunity to do that. Do you know what else I love about that? Everything's been done only. for you as well. You know, Platt, because you're really good at packaging everything together. Yeah, the yeah, transfer's all organised for you. But as I said, deposit only on that at the moment. We're not a million miles away from payment. We can still do deposit only on that, and that could tick off a lot of the bucket list for people. Great. Okay, well, we are um, we're at that point in the show where we're going to recap everything we've seen. It's kind of make your mind up time. I'll book everything, thanks, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could, but uh, I'm here's at, a, I'm here's at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> here's a quick recap. Uh, we started off, of course, with uh, Royal Kobe. Now, this one has been selling really quickly today, so you do need to get a little bit of a, of a move on. Uh, it's the 11-night Dubai, Amman and Abu Dhabi with stay there. The lead date the 9th of January, but there's, there's loads of dates actually to choose from. And don't forget that will include your three-night hotel stay uh, in Dubai with the um, Desert Safari as well. So three nights, that amazing, say, safari experience about your dinner, return flights based on London. We have got regionals available for supplement as well. And uh, just, to, I think, to get that kind of weather, you know, in... in January, February time without travelling too far. You want a bit of winter sun. It's yeah. six, six and a half, seven hour flight depending on where you are in the country. It's really, really good. Uh, and the uh, ID number for that one is 180784. That was what we remember. Also, those prices will go up in the next two days, I'm promising that. Right, okay, moving on to the next one. We then go on to our. Just waiting for the it was Celestial, wasn't it? Next? Celestial, yeah. And this is the 15-night package that we have for three continents on there. And again, this gives you a one-night stay in Athens. Remember, if you want us to extend it, we can extend it for you. But the ID is 223840. Now, the starting price on here is 1899. Um, but again, you've got your drinks, your tips, uh, six shore excursions included, 50 euros on board spend. And as I said, that one probably will be flights from London. But just think where you're going. You're going to Cyprus, you're going to Egypt, you're going to Israel, you're going all of those Greek islands, um, Kusadasi, you're going to Istanbul overnight, Mykonos overnight, wow. Santorini, it's wonderful. And again, great ship to be on as well. But that again is limited availability. Yeah, very, very unusual for us to have that from Celestia, actually. Yeah. yeah. Really good to get to really see good. so much of the world on that one trip. And then 
But an, a, a really nice, uh, cheeky little Christmas one next. Uh, this is where the, the cruise of Maritime. Uh, yeah, if you want to get away, do some Christmas shopping uh, on the 11th of December. I think this is brilliant. 313 is the price. It's a festive flash sale. Now, you do need to bulk in the next couple of days. The offer finishes on the 3rd of October. And that single special is only 529. So, great prices for our solar passengers. And it does work out under £63 per person per night for couples there as well. And, and no flying from London to Tilbury. I thought it was great. Really good. One. Yeah, really nice. My old home. Oh. Some memories on that one. We then went on to Uniwell, which is our six star deluxe river cruise. And, and again, a very, very nice destination, taking in some, some wonderful places. We're going into uh, Cologne and we're going into Rudersheim. Um, again, you've got the wineries there in Germany. But the lead date on here, we've got an exclusive on that lead date on the 14th of August 2020. But yeah, your drinks, your tips, excursions included on that one. The ID on that one is um, 225, and it's just come off the screen. I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, I've I, I remember 215 216 216 yeah. yeah yeah well done for that Sean thanks <laughs> um, now on this one as well you've got complimentary beverages throughout you've got the captain's welcome and farewell dinners and again return flights from London speak to the guys if we can do uh, regionals for you of course we will but again that's a nice one again the castles along the Rhine sounds, like a, song, doesn't it? sounds like a song that doesn't it, it does uh, and then we had the um, Norwegian epic next and uh, we really like, I love this promotion now uh, with, with uh, NCL. I think it's one of the best promos that companies it, have got It is, isn't it? So, upgrade for £99 per person to free at sea, and you can have them two extra benefits. And these aren't things that you wouldn't want, you know. A premium beverage package, or specialty dining, three wonderful restaurants, Wi Fi, or short excursion credits. You get to choose two of those. Return flights based on London, but again, Please ask about regionals, and you can also add on a two-night stay in Barcelona from only £119 per person, based on the 5th and the 19th of July. And the ID number for that one is 195789. There it is on the screen there, 195789. And then finally we went off to uh, Singapore, Malaysia, and of course the Vietnam Grand Prix, and this is on Princess. Um, so again, this one is going out. Um, on the 20th of March 2020. It's an 18-night package. Hanoi Stay, v uh, Vietnam Grand Prix and Cruise Southeast Asia. Starting price on that is 2249 and again that one there is going to have the one night stay in Singapore, four night stay in Hanoi with a premium or family size room. You've got breakfast included in Hanoi and a welcome dinner on arrival. The four-day ticket to the Grand Prix and of course return flights based in London. The ID is 226782 and as you can see there at the bottom, limited state rooms available. And, and I tell you what, have we got I've got time to squeeze in that amazing hot pick that we had from Fred Olsen, because this was so good. Um, right, we've only got a few seconds, but it's a nine-night on the Braemar, 24th of November, 389. You need to pre-register today, and you'll be able to book that tomorrow. Glenn, we're out of time. Are you back time. in two weeks? I'm back in two weeks, mate, and then I'm back in the office tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Yeah, give him a call tomorrow and give us a call Cheers, tonight guys. as well. Bye-bye. Hiya. Thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.